Hi, I'm George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California, and in this video I'm going to go over how to solve equations by using U substitutions. In particular, I'm going to use the substitution U equals X squared in this video. So, to solve by U substitution, I'm looking for an equation that resembles this one. X to the fourth minus 7X squared minus 18 equals 0. This is not a quadratic equation, but it's quadratic in form. The term with greatest degree, the first term, has degree 4. The next greatest degree is half of that. x squared has a degree of 2. And then we have a constant. Whenever we see this pattern, we can use a u substitution to change the equation into a quadratic equation that we can then solve. Once we solve for u, we'll have to unsubstitute to find the values of x. Another example would be something like this. Uh, 3x to the fourth plus 8x squared minus 9 equals 0, etc. We're looking for this pattern. x to the fourth, x squared, and a constant. Let's get started. So we have an equation in the form I mentioned, x to the fourth, an x squared term, and a constant term. The substitution I'm going to make is I'm going to let u replace x squared. So working from right to left, I know we don't usually work that way, but 0 stays the same, as does minus 108. 3x squared I can rewrite as 3u. I'm replacing x squared by the new variable u. And finally, x to the fourth, I can replace by u squared because u squared is x squared squared, which is x to the fourth. Now, this equation is quadratic. I have a squared term, a linear term, and a constant term. And I can solve this using any of the techniques for quadratic equations. This one happens to factor. I can factor this to be u plus 12 times u minus 9 equals 0. Uh, this will give me the solution of u equals negative 12. The second factor will give me the solution of u equals 9. Okay. But here's the problem. We're asked to solve this first equation for x. But my solutions are not for x, they're for u. I have to change u back into x squared now. So again, I'm going to put in x squared for u. And my new equations are x squared equals negative 12 and x squared equals 9. To solve this equation, I can take the square root of both sides as I have a square equal to a constant. The square root of x squared equals plus or minus the square root of negative 12. Uh, because there's a negative in the square root, I know I have an i. 12 is 4 times 3, so I know I can take out a 2, plus or minus 2i root 3. For the other one, other equation, square root of x squared equals plus or minus the square root of 9, and that leaves us with x equals plus or minus 3. So our solution set contains four solutions. Let me write it up here in the top left. I have 2i root 3, negative 2i root 3, 3, and negative 3 in some order. Let's try this one. Same idea. x to the fourth, x squared, and a constant. Again, I'm going to let u equal x squared. My new equation will be u to the second minus 5u minus 14 equals 0. Again, I can solve this one by factoring. If you can't factor it, you can use quadratic formula, whatever you like. Uh, this factors to be u plus 2 times u minus 7 equal to 0. Our first solution is u equals negative 2. Our second solution 
by adding 7 we find that u is equal to 7. Now let's reverse the substitution by putting in x squared for u. So x squared equals negative 2 or x squared equals 7. Take the square root of both sides. Don't forget the plus or minus when taking the square root of the constant. This gives me plus or minus i root 2 for the first equation. And over here, I can't work with the square root of 7, so I just have plus or minus square root of 7. Solution set, i root 2, negative i square root of 2, square root of 7, and negative square root of 7. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, or if you have a video that you'd like me to put together for you on YouTube, you can reach me through the contact page on my website, and that address is georgewoodbury.com. Thanks for watching, and good luck.